Hello you beautiful people, today we're gonna talk about this little thing here, it says supersecretconfi.exe and that is actually what that is, that is an exe file, it's not a virus, it is actually the new comfy. If you start that baby up, you're gonna get to the new application install of comfy. Once we press that, we're gonna select a directory where you install comfy. So you can use a previous directory, so if you have your own comfy already with models, outputs, uh, nodes, whatever, you can use the same directory to have that be imported. We're just gonna use a new clean one so I can show you what's going on. So just gonna do comfy YouTube. There we go. We're selecting that and we're installing this. So this is gonna be fairly quick. It's installing Python. It's actually using Python 3.12. It's getting Torch and everything in. So you don't have to do anything by yourself. It's an application, it's automatically installed onto your machine. And there's no fancy fancy stuff or video guides that you need to follow for this part. I mean, obviously you're gonna have to learn Comfy and how to build workflows, but this part's kinda out of the way and that's very, very cool. Once you're in, this is what you're gonna see. This looks fairly standard for most people. This is the default Comfy UI workflow, but you might be wondering what's up with this UI. Well, if you have been using the new beta UI, you might recognize this, but this is actually a new UI. And if you haven't seen it, it's actually been available. Let me see here, beta use new menu and menu and workflow management. So if this set is disabled, you recognize this old menu here in the background, right? But you could actually change this to top or bottom. Uh, this is now default. So this is what you're gonna see. You have some beautiful key bindings, Q, node library, M for models, and then your workflows, W. So you can actually save workflows and organize them much more easily than you could for. The new node library is very convenient. Now I don't have any fancy nodes installed. You can see the default ones here. We're gonna get some nodes installed in just a second. And the model library, I'm actually in the process of throwing in some new models right now just to be able to show you what's going on here right one cool thing is that the manager is automatically installed so we have that and it is ready to go day one and we're actually getting into some new custom nodes here and if we go back we recognize this old style menu here comfy ui manager we have a little q button down here now uh, so this uh, we can now move around we can drop it up, up here. So we, it's more similar to like a, a Adobe style workflow where you can just put stuff wherever. Well, I'm sure a lot of applications has it like that. I'm just used to the, the Adobe suite from ages ago. Uh, one cool thing is that you actually can work with tabs. So if you just press new workflow here, you're actually getting a new tab, with the new workflow. So you can have multiple workflows going at the same time. And you could do that previously in a browser but this just makes it so much easier. Uh, we got some models in, so I'm just gonna refresh here. So let me load a Flux dev workflow here. So this is just one of the default Flux ones. You see we have Flux dev, we got all the clips. Yeah, just, just queue this up and see if we can get it running from a clean comfy install. And since all of, the, all of these nodes are comfy UI default nodes, it should be. Fine. The cool part about this fully packaged desktop version, as they call it, is well, there's, there's a lot of things. So let's try and talk over some of the announcements here. Right? So we have, it's going to be code signed and secure. So Comfy UI is going to open without triggering security warnings. So you always know like when a version comes directly from Comfy and the Comfy organization. That's cool. Automatic updates yeah, straight inside of the app. And it's going to be fairly lightweight. I think the package is only around 200 megabytes for well, the application models are going to be huge as always. So you can't really get around that. We talked a little bit about the manual Python thing previously. So now uh, oh, the recommended Python environment is going to be included. So you don't have to worry about that anymore. And I don't have to make any more tutorials about installing Python. Well, I hope. Well, let's see. Uh, one cool feature is we can actually do now, let's go into settings here, there are actually key bindings. So you can do key bindings that overwrite anything you have for your system, which is uh, kind of cool. We talked a little bit about the tabs that are up here. I'm going to show you a different workflow here and also how it looks like when you're installing custom nodes that are not installed. This is now in a closed beta. So I've been testing this beforehand. It is still in closed beta as of the announcement. 
but the, the, the change is you can actually sign up for it. And this is uh, set to be released for open beta in roughly a month is what I have been told. Oh, and the source code will actually be open source at that time. So not currently, but when it goes into open beta. The cool part about the workflows now is, is that you can actually include more stuff than was available previously. So let's say, for example, that you're building a workflow and you want the Flux dev model. You can include links to your models, to your clips, whatever, so they can be automatically downloaded. So that is a super cool feature. So you can provide the JSON file workflow and you don't have to give like manual instructions of where to get the stuff and how to get it installed and in what folders it's actually going to be uh, done automatically if you prepare that in the workflow. So that's kind of a cool feature and something that uh, I'm going to be using a lot for my workflows, especially the ones that I uh, spend some more time on and then re release on my Patreon. If you like me, like to pin notes, like whenever you have a note like this, right? It goes um, all over the place and you're kind of, oh no, I'm moving it all away. You can actually, you could previously pin it, but you can, now you can pin it just by pressing P. So now it's locked here, so you can move it anymore. It's just going to be quicker to P. P, 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 P. There you go. So that's just, uh, you know, quality of life feature. I, I love quality of life features in general, right? Things that saves me time, even if it's just seconds or milliseconds or I don't know. It's just nice, you know? And when you're searching for nodes now, the search is said to be better and is now sorted by usage frequency. So you're not going to get as many unused nodes anymore. So if you're using a node all the time, let's say you're using preview image all the time, well, you're going to get it up here uh, quite often, depending on what you search for, obviously. Uh, one cool feature that I don't know if that's been in before, maybe it has, but if that's the case, then I've actually missed it. And that's this little thing. Uh, oh, we can't actually see that. So let's see if you can just move me out of the way for a second. And that's this little button down here, toggle link visibility, it just an easy way to remove all the lines if you want to make it pretty after you built something, right? You can also zoom in and out here with, with buttons, but I mean, if you're scrolling with the mouse wheel, that's going to be much, much easier, right? Uh, you have a reset view here and you can select mode. So instead of dragging stuff, you're dragging like this, but that was previously on the space bar, right? Let's get me back up there and let's enable the nodes, uh, the node links again, all the lines actually you have this new shift drag so if you will have this node right and you have something way over here and you're taking this and dragging you're just getting a new one right so you can actually shift and you can take this and move it somewhere else. now i don't have anything else to say that we did have another one over here um so if i'm just trying to do that no it's not doing that i want to move that uh well just press shift right and you shift and there we go we're replacing that from this direction, right? So if you're dragging there, easy. So that has not changed. Uh, you can, however, if you hold shift this time, this round, you're cloning that, right? So you can do two of them and the same here. Oh no, this, I can't do this. Well, shift, we're actually moving both of them. So that's a pretty cool and nifty feature for uh, workflow builders out there. So let's uh, look at uh, one of the workflows that's, uh, well, not broken, but you can see here we don't have all of the nodes installed here. So let's go to the manager, go back here, missing node list. You can uh, click that, install. And the cool thing you're going to see here in just a second, when you get a, a node, you actually can decide which uh, version that you want to install. So let's say, for example, that you have a workflow that, you know, it's crucial, a business use case, you have to use this specific workflow, and it only works with uh, Node X in version 1.4 Alpha 3. We can actually get that here. So that's fairly easy uh, without having to go, you know, run all the GitHub uh, commands to, you know, check out the different branch. Uh, I'm gonna use latest here, so that's what I'm looking for. But it's a nifty little feature, especially for advanced users out there. Most of you, you're just gonna do uh, latest, but uh, you know, it's good to know if you ever end up in that situation. Now, if you press down here, you're gonna get all, them, all of them installed. And if you press up here, you are gonna get them individually, right? So we're starting this. Now, let's say I close down all of these, right? Uh, we, now, we're not gonna save this. I saved this before. 
and let's just close this oh it opens another okay so just go into your workflow so w and here we have our saves so you're gonna open the flux control net actually saved our input here that i've used previously so if i just queue this up we're having a woman fashion model in pink dress background is a magical fantasy world we're using this woman here as an input so she this is island behind her she's waving her hand is up we're using <coughs> flux dev q8 gduf and oh we actually got a blue glove here on the hand but uh, we got sort of what we asked for this magical world here and i only used uh line art control net together with uh, the union pro control net here so all of these were disabled so fairly easy to get started with the new comfy ui go sign up for the beta it's uh, it's very handy to have it inside of an application like this right and especially like you know all the the key bindings the stuff you can do the nodes here the models that you can check i mean you can just go in okay what well, what checkpoints do I have let's check uh, right here okay I only got the N4 and the flux dev here well that shouldn't actually be in there I uh, should be in where is my unit folder well apparently it's not here but at least I have my unit GGUF with my Q8 model there so I, I got some installing to do but this the workflows here this is super convenient I mean you could load workflows from the the, the previous user interface but that was just messy you know so yeah I can all heartily recommend this new comfy like i said set to be released in open beta in a month so well let's see this probably is the future of comfy well it is the future of comfy and i'm sure it's going to be the future of many ai applications moving forward and it's going to be a good future obviously i'm going to have less guides on how to install the technical stuff and more about actually using the tools which i think is going to be pretty cool but you know you never know might be new tech tools out there that still needs advanced installers. So let's see. As always, have a good one. Thanks for watching. See ya.